All right, welcome back, South Mississippi. So we're in the middle of the World Cup. Why not talk soccer? There happens to be a rematch scheduled, not really a rematch, but just a rescheduled match in soccer going on on the Gulf Coast on Wednesday. Join me now. We've got some of the guys from Port City FC, Michael and Harrison. How are you guys doing today? Doing good. Doing, doing pretty good. So um, we had some guys come on a while back to talk a little bit about Port City FC and uh, a, a match that you guys had coming up. Unfortunately, rain in the area at that time. Things got kind of pushed back. We'll talk about that in a minute. But first, uh, someone just tell me a little bit more about Port City FC for those who uh, might have missed that first interview. Okay, so Port City FC, we're a not-for-profit uh, organization that was started a couple years ago to try to raise awareness and interest in soccer down here on the coast um, by providing a men's team for the younger players to come watch, and they've also partnered with Gulf Coast United, one of the youth clubs in the area, to really try to get things going. And so, you know, soccer, a lot of people don't think that it's at the forefront in Mississippi. We, we love our football, we love our baseball. But you just mentioned Gulf Coast United. We have a pretty solid foundation for youth soccer on the coast. They usually do pretty well whenever they go out and compete. Uh, Port City FC kind of gives people a look at, um, you know, semi-professional soccer through adults. Top, top level of the sport down here, right? Right. It uh, gives some of the younger, some of the younger uh, generation to have someone to look, look up to, like see a bunch of older guys that are still dedicated to the sport that we're trying to get better and also gives them opportunity to be a part of like the under 23s or even be a part of the second team and just work their way into that to that senior team but it just gives everybody just an opportunity to just be played because we have a bunch of local guys that are on the team as well that have come through the system and are even playing at the local colleges around the coast as well. All right, and so it's not just Ports DFC. You guys have got some competition. One of those teams actually based out of Mobile, AFC Mobile. And our last game got rained out, but you guys are going to be taking them on again this week at the uh, Gulfport Football Stadium, correct? Yes, absolutely. And that game is a, is a massive game for us, as you said, is they're right down the road, our closest rival, well, until this season. But um, it always gets nasty. You know, it's an interesting game. They bring a lot of fans, and uh, it would really help us out if we could get a lot of fans out there to kind of battle that as well. All right, we'll definitely want to pack out the stands for you guys so that it's a, a level playing field. And before we go, real quick, we're running out of time, but I just want to ask you guys, of course, you have to have been following the World Cup so far. I've been watching it. A lot of shockers, so um, any, any, anything that really took you guys by surprise while you were watching? Uh, the Germany, Brazil, and Argentina draws, right. those took a lot of people by surprise, which in the, game, in the game of soccer, it's just if you come to play, you come to play, and whoever gets that lucky break yeah hey, well see how it goes there you go you never know what's going to happen so hopefully you guys are the ones that get that lucky break whenever you take on mobile on wednesday night thanks for coming by to talk to us thanks, thanks so much Thank we're going to throw some information up on the screen right now for anyone interested you're going to want to go out there and see port city take on afc mobile that's wednesday at 7 30. it's a gulf ports football stadium the address right there on your screen and there's more information at that website as well